Hello people, the channel is back, it is time for some Prison Architect. So this is going to be the campaign mission, all five of them. For now, this is going to be a prelude to the main series which starts on Monday. And then we're going to do something a little different to most channels. We, do, we are going to be doing something called As Live. Very similar to YouTube. I'm not going to edit anything. I'm going to record an hour video for you. Every Monday will be Prison Architect. We'll be doing some other series as well. But this is going to be a series you don't want to miss because we are going to be as excuse me, as live as possible. My friends, let's get on with this little campaign section. I love this. And let's begin. We are playing Prison Architect. Believe me, we've got some great series coming up. We've got Planet Coaster. It's going to be coming very soon, even though it's not going to be very good quality like other YouTubers because they're saying as good computer, but it plays it now. City Skylines will be coming. And there'll be other random games throughout the week if I, if I feel like recording. But we're going to tr do a trial with Planet, with not Planet Coaster, but with Prison Architect. You want to get a feel of what this game is going to offer, as this is going to be the prelude to the main series as we play the five campaign missions as we play a game I already know how to play. The game's frozen a bit. Oh well. I'm hoping this is recording because otherwise I'm going to have to do this all over again. It seemed alright when I did all my tests, so the sound did sound alright. You could hear me alright. But yeah, so we're Bill. Um, hopefully the game will tell you in a minute, but this game is one of the best things ever for this sort of thing. I absolutely adore this game. Prison Architects. And this one's a bit different as well. TWE is going to vanish for a while off the channel, I'm sorry to say. It will come back eventually. Oh, we have a phone call. Let's answer the phone. This is a tough one. There's a prison incarcerated in this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and is sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Is he his birthday? What are we killing him? I'm a bit confused. <laughs> for the guys. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself. With enough space inside to fit an execution room and holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We we'll also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large jail door into the south wall. So he's kind of given us the plans. I know that you've probably seen this before, but I didn't want to start the new series and now you guys wait until Monday. So this is a very... Oh, I forgot how this game works. I've been playing a lot of Planet Coaster to get the, an idea of the game before I start that lately, so I've kind of forgot everything. I'm going these different games now. Um, excuse me, can you stop calling me, mate? Um, we better answer the phone, don't we? Your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. They collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around and use Use WASD or the arrow keys to move around. And use the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. Yeah, I've just remembered that, mate. Thanks for telling me that now. So, we've got a kit. We've got a kitchen here, right? So, obviously, this prison has a canteen over here. It's a very weird setup, this prison. I always find when I play this game because I would have given these staff doors and staff door here. Bless me, I'll probably burn anyone watching their headphones, probably blown their ears out. And the, yeah, but it's a nice little prison, they've got an out of wall, they've also got more money than us. It looks like we're getting there with the execution chamber, I think we've got a couple more bits to be put in. We've got something over here to be built. Um, but of course, you, this game has been out for a few years now, um, I know there's an Xbox version. Okay, hold on, let's just read what he's got to say and I'll continue. Inside the building I want a cell and an execution room. Porch, partition the space so by constructing some brick walls. Okay. So, yeah, I do know that this has now got, um, same as, um, so has um, City Skylines has got it on Xbox. But this has got one, this is on, this has got an um, iPhone port as well as a Xbox One report. I don't know if it's on PlayStation or not. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. 
so what we're so this is going to be quite an interesting you know look at the game um, see what's going on Sorry guys, okay, six. Um, um, but yeah, so if, how are we getting on? So yeah, um, so yeah, I'm just checking this. Um, oh, he's back again, is he? Can anyone stop messaging me right now? Um, so now I have a layer of jail doors so those dividing walls, you can rotate the objects by pressing R. Sorry guys, I'm trying to record, and every time I try and record something, people bloody call me. Or message me. Um, so yeah, we're going to add the jail doors. Where's our bloody staff? Oh, we've got jail doors down there. So, so we've got a few prisoners in here. I think this is the guy we're about to kill. So they're installing our doors for us. Oh, beautiful. So yeah, I'm only going to do the pre-log today. This is going to be like a pre-log to season one, and then if it goes well. That's looking good. We now, we now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in this small area where our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in the larger area. I'm also doing this so I can remember how to play the game, because on the other computer I, can't, I just kept running out of space. So I couldn't do things like this and have these games and I used to love playing these sort of games. Hence why I'm renting this laptop from Hughes, especially for you guys to be able to get better content. And also so that I can enjoy myself um, as well. And I do enjoy playing, you know, TWE, but I haven't got the money to buy TWE. This is in my Steam account already because I've had it for a few years since it came out. Quite literally, I saw it on NerdQ to play it. I'm going to hint, hint. Let's just fast forward a bit of time because I don't know what we need. Designate an execute. Oh, I've, I've done the wrong thing. I've done a. No wonder nothing's going on. <laughs> Come on, guys. You meant to tell me this. Hello. This is an as life thing. See, this is why I'm going to do things as life because you guys can go, oh my god, he's messed up. These will now have requirements. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires an electric chair. Fine. Um, I do not. I never like how they want me to set these rooms up because to me, I always like to make them sleep by the toilet because there's a. Um, because they've been naughty, you deserve it. Um, are you going to tell us how to build pipes and stuff in this game? Because that's very important. Now we might as well fast forward time. Just get these guys to do a job quicker. So yeah, um, I thought I thought Prison Architect would be an easy, simple, and I've already messed up and I've only just started playing games to begin with. I think that beginning with something like this. So obviously the staff keys, we could just look at those. So then we need to designate the area, I think. I don't think I can do that yet because that's in deployment. You got blue rocket, so you're good. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you. These ain't strictly current depends on how much you care about your prisons and their environments. I don't give a shit. <laughs> this cell itself could be improved with an outward facing window and a small bookshelf. And the facility would look better with high quality floor materials like wooden floors and mosaic tiles. You can also install chairs for the outside. You could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. <laughs> we sure we killing this guy? We're we gonna get the nice cutscenes. What I love about this, I do, I do play this quite a bit, so I do know this. This is the main man in question, Edward Rosemary. A teacher wants a teacher wants. Would you believe he's lost his voice now? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this. The law has made that decision. We're just here to do a job. Once you're satisfied the facility is ready, you can bring the new pr bring the begin the prison transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. Right, we'll leave him over there. Now. So, why we're doing this? We can't do a lot of the stuff that this game has to offer, but you know, they said I can add a few things outside another light. 
Um, I'm going to add a window. I don't normally add windows, it's not something I do, but, you know, I'm going to add a couple. Um, just so you guys can get a better feel of the game, if you might, you know, some of you are probably watch this game. I already know how the game works, thank you, because I watched... I've watched Tycoonatron or Nerdcube or Flubberlinky and those sort of people play it. Well, I'm now playing it because I like it and I want to do the missions so that I have like a little prelude, which is what this is, to the main game. I'm going to do that and then I want to show you the transfer once I've built this. Why am I, why am I building walls? Um, help. I don't know if I'm going to be able to bulldoze that in my... Oh, they are bulldozing it for me, thank god. This is why I'm doing an As Live series, so you can see the massive mess-ups what's going to happen as they happen. There we go, that's better. Right, let's show you initiate the transfer as being as we've already messed up enough. The Chief's calling. So this is now the cutscene we get to watch. I, I do like the cutscene. And you get these really cute... Um, and I look, uh, So... We get these other pictures. <clears throat> so she saw it to me. Don't shed a tear. Shed one tear. <clears throat> don't, shed a, don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed. Want to hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I know. She was home. I've made the chief gay. Don't ask. <laughs> Ooh. We're now in a horror film. What's going on? <laughs> I love the fact that it's got prison architect windows and furniture, and it's just like I don't know how. Uh, ooh, ooh. I'm not editing this out, by the way. I don't care. There's not enough nudity to edit out. I knew I'd catch you two here. <clears throat> Let's have a teacher voice. I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward, I don't just don't. What are you going to do? <laughs> exactly what I would do. Yeah, that. I would shoot him if I was angry and I had a gun. <laughs> I don't blame him, do I? I had you on Edward's side. I don't agree with cheating, that's one big thing I don't agree with. See, there's no nudity, so you can put this on YouTube. They covered it up. I have got from Meerkat, if you don't know, compare the market.com, give out free Meerkats. I have my fiance, I love her dearly, who's got insurance out, and I have got the one dressed up as VB8, but it is the cutest thing in the world. And he is sat here watching this, so I've just affected a baby meerkat. Clear as day if you... <laughs> oh, it's the truth again. Clear as day if you ask me. Deserves every fault he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness. Even him. Are you are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such a final judgement? Catching a wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. The state is making an example of him. If he committed his crime a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life. Imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like do you want a guy like this running free? I sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. <laughs> oh I love the fact I can do voices for these people. <laughs> Oh, the CEO is ringing. Good work so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functional yet because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electri elect electricity supply. Yay, my favourite bit of this game. I absolutely adore this. I don't know why I ain't got to plumb the toilet in, but you know. We, now, we are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electric cables. The power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. Oh great, let's hope it's not British power then. 
<laughs> we're screwed if it's British power. I love the fact we, when it snows in Britain, we all panic. As you can see, this entire ring of the prison cell is without power. All the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch it into the utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. Because there's no cables going underneath. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers con can't complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electric cables nearby to cover this wing of the prison. I don't know if I'm playing it through in order. I don't know if this is still the first bit of the mission or what, but there you go. I'm just going to bring this all the way down to here. Wire this in as much as I can. Then bring it down like so. And now... Because I know he's going to ask me to do it eventually. I'm just going to add a few capacitors down this side. Just so it's got the power. There we go. Let's fast forward time. Do, 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 do. The thing I don't love about this game is the way you put like, these sort of things in. Is the way, and the way these lovely builders, they are lovely, do their job. Let's take it out. Bloody. Utilities mode, obviously, what's going on. So, yeah, as they start putting in power, you'll see these lights start lighting up, which I think is brilliant. You know, as soon as you know, you don't need it touching. They have a little cable, see, this area's done. We've still got a light out here for some reason. There we go. Incoming. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. Your new electricity chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. Done. So I told you I was going to go. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical equipment. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to carry it up directly with the mains cable. You going to call me again? We're almost done. I think we should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it though. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds and ensure everything is okay. Should be because I've added the additional. Yes. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped the circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. No, I have worked on this. We're going to need to do, need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electricity chair generates. I've done this. I've done this too many times. I love the story. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process. Switch the power station on by clicking on it and then selection selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Then build a three more capacitors so we have enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair again by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu. Right, let's just switch the power back on. I'm very well known for ignoring the power situation in my prisons. So when we start building my own prison. Here we go. Well done. I believe that I, we are finished with this job. Wait, what happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job and that's an important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Oh, it's the priest in his church. I do forget, I do like, this is what I love doing is the cutscenes. Uh, so the priest, so he went to the prison after shooting someone. Obviously he went to the church. So Edward's walking down the aisle. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to make this as fun as possible because there's not a lot of reading to do right now. If you like this, please tell me. Can I help you? Let's make the... I like to give the priest to sing some voices and these sort of things. Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know. I have to do something. I can't live. I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you have done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. Talking about God, the best thing I've ever heard is God had a wife, and the big bang was caused by them having sex. Lucifer. <laughs> the best thing on Amazon Prime at the moment. Other than X-Files and Ghost Dimensions, but that's not thing to die. <laughs> that made me laugh. 
If you haven't seen Lucifer, go and watch it. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. Ooh, the final judgment. See, I'm religious, and I do believe in God, but Noah's Ark and Jonah are a bit pushing it a bit too much. Unless Jonah was inside a submarine like the Asian aliens, so then that makes me more believable. So yeah, we're going to watch the execution of a guy now. Um, I'm trying to sort my phone out because I've got... So yeah, we're going to put him in the execution chair. I don't know, really know too much about this. So he's in the chair. Let's zap him, please. In the game, their family's come watching him put chairs in the execution room, so their family's come watching him be killed. <laughs> Which I think is really morbid. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You can come and watch. Oh, so this guy here, I think, is this guy. He's not wearing a mask. And we're going to turn it on. They forgot the wet sponge. Edward Ramsey. Hold on, Mr. Chief. Edward Ramsey, you have been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Suzanne? I'm sorry. I love the fact they do this. We're now looking at a nice white screen. I'm hoping this is recording because I've done a good job of this. So I think there's something that isn't wrestling related where I'm pretty good at wrestling related and I don't do voices for. Because you know what the wrestlers sound like and it'd be weird. Ooh. The screen's now going black. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. I hope I don't get done for copyright for the music. There's a crisis brood at one of our facilities! Someone started a fire in the prison kitchen. The priority is to put it out. Stop any casualties and prevent more damage. Use the emergency services button in the zoo bar to call the fire brigade. Get this fire under control before it burns the whole prison down. I thought I'd do it in a more panicky voice because how the, the, the prison's on fire. Here come, here come the fire brigade. Oh, they've got sirens now. Shows you when I last played the game because when I last played the game, they didn't have sirens. Or oh, they might have had sirens, I don't bloody remember. Right. Um, can I... Let's just circle around everyone and get the get everyone to about here and then I can see what's going on. For some reason you're only allowed to use the four fire engines. Hmm. I didn't know that. Right, now they're all separated. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the coppers and I'm just going to throw them. I'm going to get all these coppers, throw them up there. Right, here we go. The firefighters are going to put the fire out. So, yeah, um, I think we have a major issue on our hands here. Best Cooperland Street. Can we take a moment to appreciate the talent of W205? Hungry, passionate, and refusing to acknowledge the laws of gravity. I'm such a fan. I've been become a fan since Triple H just took over. I will admit the 205 lives got interesting um, since Triple H took over. What's going to be happening after I've done this video? Because I'm going to go and watch that. What's going to happen? For some reason, it won't let me move the firefighter, which is really annoying me. So I'm just going to fast forward time a bit so we can get this fire out a bit quicker. Um, because otherwise, I'm going to be sat here all day trying to watch these guys put the fires out when I can't move them.
That's why I'm clicking the wrong mouse button. There we go. Can I get these guys to move? Yeah, here we go. That's better. Click the right mouse button. That's what's going on. Let's get these guys fighting the fire from one side. These guys fighting the fire from another side. And we should be able to get this fire under the top. We're done. Even though the building is totally ruined, but, you know, we've got some of the best fire teams in the business. And they are fighting fire with fire. There's some 100% damaged stuff in here. We're going to have to probably clear this area out and re-begin. But there we go. My god, there's a survivor in the... My god, there's a survivor in the wreckage! <coughs> Christ on a crutch, it's Don Palomo! Oh, of all the inmates, it had to... It just had to be our mob boss. <laughs> oh my god, the mob boss survived. The bad news for him is that the budget cuts have meant we had to sack all our permanent doctors. The good news is, our infirmary is still... Usable, I have a couple of dollars and I'll take care of Don Palomo while we sort whilst we sort this mess out. Right. Okay guys, so we need to clear up this mess. Use the bulldozer tool to demolish the ruined canteen and kitchen. You need to remove all the debris. Okay. Designate a garbage zone, a junction to the road. Our workmen will dump the wreckage there for the garbage trucks to dispose of. Finally, you can send those firemen home now, they've done their job. I've added more details on each, on each of the objects in your into into your do, to do tour. And your time, anytime you're unsure what to do, highlight the objective and you'll see additional instructions. Right. So first things first, let's get rid of these firemen. We don't need them now. Um, we need to set up a room. I think. Um, where's? Can you? Oh, it's not on there, is it? Is it on the room? It's on the room. So we go. I was on the wrong option. And so, so this is a nice garbage centre. The firemen should be packing up and going home, which they are. Um, I'm going to bulldoze everything around here. Just going to do that so that everything gets highlighted. Oh god, don't do that. That'd be a bad idea. That will get that sorted right. We then need to hire a couple of doctors. One, two. They'll sort out, do they'll sort out the. Where's our own firm is down here? Demolishing those buildings will take a while. You can press the time more quickly by using the buttons under the clock. I think also we can hire more work. Which might help get the job done. And as being as we ain't worrying about the money at the moment, we can do that. Right. Um, ignore the rage even all that lot. We'll work all that out when we play the main game. Let's get the let's get this mission done, shall we? Um, we're getting there with the wreckage. The cantina seems to take a bit more, but. Everything is wrecked, so it's going to be a job of knocking everything down and restarting. And then putting the rubble here. But yeah, I think someone tried to kill... I, I've got an interesting idea on this. Someone tried to kill the mob boss. What's going on here? The pipes are not all connected because of the fire. That's something we need to deal with. Otherwise, we're going to have grumpy fucking bit. We're going to have grumpy prisoners in a minute. Let's just get that done. Good work. Let's check up on our casualty. There's an armed guard in there. He's got first degree burns to his face. He's still alive. He's beeping. There's some, ooh, there's some prisoners coming. It's crab and goil. <laughs> Everybody, crab and goil's come to visit the mob boss in prison. This is what happened to him in Harry after Harry Potter the and Stone. When they, this is the original. He's not doing too well. He don't look good either, does he? Uh, 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 uh. I think he's trying to say something. I think he's trying to say something. I can't do an Italian accent. I'm really tempted to. <laughs> Which are you? Beep. Cock sucking. Beep. Banging. Rat. Beep. Mother. Beep. Did this. I'm beeping the beeps. You can, if you want to see what this says, you can read it. See, they even look like a, no one did this to you, Pappy. It was an accident. I'm maybe gonna try and do voices for these. Just imagine I'm speaking an Italian accent. That's all I can picture these guys talking. <laughs> Shut your stinking mouth and listen, God. Good. Listen, good. But the both of you. If you knew which of you beeps started that fire, I snap your stinking necks. 
But my time is done. I'm going to die in this fucking bed. I'm not going to beep anymore. And there's family business to run. The Plamia, the Plauromi name is all we've got left. So you do the honourable thing, you dirty piece of shit fuckers. Fucks. Cap capiche? All I'm saying is, I'm... I can't really say anything because I'm not getting going to get done anything else at the moment because I swear in the TWE videos. I swear I think Jimmy Havoc's more enough times. We know what to do, Pops. And they're going to now leave the room. I did the beeps just as a joke. I just gave up. We definitely need a bloody cleaner in this prison because this cleaner looks awful. Watch your fucking back. This isn't over, Nico. Ooh. Nico, okay. Without food, these inmates will be tearing the walls down within a couple of days. We've got to secure the prison before we end up with a riot on our hands. This is the deployment screen. From here, you can control the tactical deployment of all your guards. Deploy a spread of guards to all cell block and rooms. Sign 10 guards to a station around prison. That should be sufficient to show, show, sufficient show of strength for now. I also want to patrol around the inner courtyard where we will be building the new facilities. Right. And you're... And, Anytime you're unsure to do, 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 right, this is a bit I love about this game. Oh, okay. This is new as well. I'll work this out later. <laughs> but now, we're going to do a patrol down there. That's going to be one guard. We're going to do... Ooh, I'm trying to... The problem is, because on this screen you got you can see. So one's going to be on this side. I'm going to do another one on this side. I don't know if I've got the guard to do this. But that's... Fine. That's the best way... You can do um, circle routes, and then, which I, I do quite a lot, is this, when I do cell blocks like this one. I didn't do it on the other one, is and then add two prison guards on it, and they will continuously patrol around there. Um, around here. That's another one. Oh, we've got another double-sided room. You can do a circle, that way they're constantly going around. There we go. And then he said he wanted some around the courtyard, didn't he? So this is going to be the bigger one of the two. And there we go. We have a lot of work still to do. We need to turn our attention to replacing the kitchen and canteen. First we need to rebuild the kitchen. We need to install several pieces of equipment and hire some chefs. Once that's done, build a new canteen. Once you have all that completed, the chefs automatically start preparing meals for the entire prison. If you ain't sure what to do at any time, try highlighting the objectives in the to-do list to see some hints. No, we're just going to continue because as I said, this is as live, which I like. If you don't know what as so most want to do it, it's like I'm doing a live stream when I'm not. Um, we're gonna do bricks. Um, I don't know what I always go with bricks. I don't. I've never tried to do one thing. So I'm gonna go like so, and I'm gonna automatically connect a nice big antenna. What I'm then gonna do is just for argument's sake, so that this is connected. Um, both require an entrance, which is good. Large jail door, and I'm gonna put a snap door in this corner. We'll see why in a minute. I'm then gonna along this line which is a 17 meter line which shows me the break up of the rooms. I'm gonna put a door there and I'm gonna put another door there. So why they get on with that and so at least four cooks cookers da -da -da -da. let them build all this and then we'll show you what's going to be our next step. Well they're going quite well. Hence why I hired more bloody workers, is because it build, they build quicker. And for this, I think it'll be easier to get this done nice and quick. So this can, I don't know if this is going to go up to, to um, today, which is Thursday or Friday, but this is going to go up on one of the days it's Thursday today, just so that you can get a taste of what the new... There we go. So that's that. All right, let's get some... Let's sort some rooms out. This is going to be a nice kitchen and we need to install some stuff so we're going to do two three four oh. 
five and six. I know I don't need to do this many, but this is the sort of thing I do when I go when I, I know that it's not gonna impact the rest of the missions. La -di -da, -di da But I do this all the time when I build a kitchen, I go nice and big. Which I won't be doing when we play the main game because we're gonna have to deal with money. <laughs> I'm not very good with money. <laughs> Even in real life I'm not very good at money. What do we need? Um a sink. A sink oh, I always put the sinks at the back. Bop, 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 and bop. And then by the sinks, a bin to put your dirty hands in. Right, I know that there isn't a serving table clock yet, which is annoying me. And I don't want to have a cook yet. So in here This will be the cantina. And then along this bank wall, I'm going to push R a few times. We'll put the serving tables, what these are for. There we go. Are these the tables? Yep, so there'll be a bench there. So two, one, two. I'm going to have to install power to this facility. This is something I'm good at, is building canteens. I'm not good at building prisons. But I'm good at building the canteens for a prison. If there's a can prison canteen is similar, um, prison canteen um, architect, I'll be pretty good at that because I can do it. I know how to get food. It sounds really bad, doesn't it? I need to. I'll put a bin in here as well. I don't think you need to put a bin in here, but it's just a bit. I'll then get some power installed into the cantina. Into the kitchen, some water. Um, the pipes will need will need water into there as well. And as you can see, the reason I've done it like this is you can get two benches in for each um, on the other side. I know it's a bit cramped, but believe me, it doesn't matter in this game. The will um, use this. It does cause more fights to have a bigger canteen, so be aware of that. That's why. When you start getting bigger prisons and start making a lot more money, you start splitting up the prison a lot more. There we go, beautiful. Um, lock that door open. It's fine. So, we do need some stuff in here. First things first is we need electric cables. Which we'll do now. I'll then bring that all the way over to here. That's then we'll connect it to the main grid. Put a few in there. That's good. We then need some water pipes. So I'm going to bring the big pipe down to here. I'm then going to run a series of small pipes just under there. And then that's all set up now. We just need to get some cooks. Two, three, four. And we're getting... Oh, eight cooks. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Right, there we go. Let's fast forward time so that they can start doing their job. Um, what we're going to do as well is uh, deploy two guards in the ivory room. I do that anyway, I don't do it straight away in the main game, I'm just doing it for now just because of the workers coming in and installing all the water pipes and electric goods and stuff. Someone's, uh, someone's got pills. That's what the ones are. Do you know what we bloody need in this? Can I hire one? Just for my bloody iron sakes, it's annoying me. Right, that's what this bloody prison needs, a bloody good clean-up. <laughs> Peeing me off. Yeah, I, I think this series is going to do well. Um, we've got some good prisoners in the game. This is just, you know, a bit of fun, just show, you know, doing like a pre-log. Someone else has got pills. Well, the police officer's got pills because he's running away with them. <laughs> um, have we just blown the entire prison out? Um, I don't even know where the grid is. Where's the grid? Oh. Guys, we've just blown the entire bloody prison out, my friends. And this is where brand new compressors come in because we need to get power back onto the main grid. Hopefully that can get done quite quickly. I do need to get more guards, which is important. There 
There we go. Problem solved. Prison back online. Um, place a bin in the cantina. Oh, it's actually telling me to place a bin in the cantina, so. In the cantina. Done. Um, what we got today? We got some bacon. I know what's in that. Chicken potato soup. Peas. Obviously, this is dinner. Obviously, one was breakfast, and now changing to dinner. I don't know what's going on. Are we done? Um. Go for fancy tile, sure. It says optional. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to throw fancy tiles in there. You would not believe what I've just been told. Our guys were dumping some of the old foodstuffs. They discovered packs of narcotics and bottles of alcohol hidden in the crates. We suspect the Palamino family are smuggling, family are smuggling into the facility for some time now, but we've never been able to determine how. Some days it just it doesn't just rain, it pours. Ooh. Don Victor Palamino, boss one of one of the East Coast's most feared mob families. The Pamela's eluded the FBI for decades. Anthony Pamela, the Don's eldest son and natural heir, ran, ran the day ran the day to day operations. Obviously, that's him. Nico Tamaruti wasn't a man, made man, but was welcomed to the family business when he married Don's only daughter, Valta Lally. And Sonny Palamo, the Don's second oldest son, run to litter, temper like a pit bull, and only as half a smile. Their empire ran in narcotics trade from Maine to Florida. That was until Anthony got caught in in Flagrant del Quitoto. Oh, so this is all getting to shot dead by a jealous husband. We just killed him. <laughs> Unfortunately for the family, police at the scene found 12 kilos of uncooked cocaine in Anthony's sport bag. And the evidence led straight to the top. So, all this is connected. This is why I'm playing this in order, guys, because this is all connected. It's all connected up. Every story connects, which I love. Overnight, everything the Palmer family had built or crumbled to the ground. The FBI had everything they needed to ensure they had all rot in jail. Except for her. Which leads Vitalina. The Don's daughter, the only living member of the family who isn't behind bars. We don't know much about her other than she was always kept outside the family business. But somebody on the outside must have been sending those drugs in. Yeah, the girl is not actually in prison yet. We could have quite a serious narcotics problem on our hands, but we can't deal with that yet. We've got our kitchen and canteen up running. Our chefs will work on preparing food for everyone. We should cool things down. I'm concerned that the fire was clear was clearly deliberate and we don't want a repeat of that. We store a sprinkler system over the new kitchen and canteen and connect them to the water mains. Hooray! All prisoners have needs and those needs directly impact how your prisoners behave. Right now everyone is starving hungry and that's all the shouting has been about. Food is one of their highest priority needs and you ignore it at your peril. A prison is just a few failed meals away from a wall to wall riot. You can monitor the needs of all prisoners from the needs report which can normally access through the reports icon in the bottom right. This report shows the combined needs of all your prisoners. Red means a lot of prisoners are angry about this particular need not being met. So recreation and food. As you would expect, food is red for providing everyone, but these prisoners are also very bored of recreation needs. The prison is in, pretty much in a pretty shabby state, which is reflected in their environment and clothing needs. It's your decision as the resident prison architect, which, which needs you will try to attend to first. You could install a television in their cell to keep them occupied, and I have some channels to clean this place up. Or you can just ignore the prison needs altogether and rely on force to keep your prison under control. I'll leave it up to you. Well, because I'm not paying for it, I'm going to be very nice. What I'm going to do is I've already hired. Um, I don't know. What, we're going to do this sprinkler system, definitely. I don't know if they've got them in the cells in this one, but I also, when I play in the main game, they have a sprinkler in their cells, um, just because of British laws. So we're going to add into their prisons, 
my prisoners are going to be very well looked after. I'm going to add in all prison cells. And all my prisoners are going to get in telly in their cells. Because we've got the money and this is in the game, it's optional. And when we start building our own prison, I will try and keep my prisoners' needs happy. Oh, well, these guys are alright, they've got bloody radios and televisions and all sorts. In British in Britain's prisons, I think, in some British prisons, you get a telly and a bloody sky with it, so you're doing alright if you're in a British prison. I keep these ones facing the way they're facing. They've probably been pointing the wrong way. I don't care. It's going to keep our prisoners occupied while they're in their cells. You know, sleep time, they can go to sleep or they can watch telly, which I would do. I have, you know, seen, um, six. is it 60 days inside? They send those um, normal people into a prison in like this place and they have to go in and just see what prison life's like and then they have to report back to the person in the prison. That's a pretty good TV show actually. Pretty good to see what the you know prisons are like in certain areas. It's quite an eye opener. I don't know how long it's gonna to take to install all these prison tellies. We must have a deal with Hughes. We got all these prisoners. How many prisoners have we got? So we got 90 out of 81. Ooh, we got more prisoners than what we should have, which is not good. But I'm not going to deal with that because I was just told to be a bit more. So we're doing that. Um, connecting the connection up with sprinklers, larger, which is what we're meant to be concentrating on, which would get this done a lot quicker. But hey, I'm doing the optional missions as well because I enjoy them. I am going to connect this up in a minute, don't worry, to the main pipe network, I know it probably won't reach. Now I'm going to do that in a second. Just gonna... That's done. I'm going to bring one of these big pipes over just so that these, so the water will, um, so I can connect it around. So what I normally do is on these sort of things is I have the large pipe going along here. But, but just for like you know on um, two blocks blocks down and then use around the outside and then use little pipes just so that it's harder for the prisoners to dig out because they're pretty good at digging out I'm always getting reports it's all being found when we do a shakedown it's just like who the hell's trying to escape this time my business I'm not that bad my business but it's fast forward time it's gonna probably take a while because they're probably now gonna be going around installing TVs into all these prison cells <laughs> yeah, some of these guys are watching TV, their TVs are facing the wall. But his is as well, if you look, so I don't think that's a problem, I just think it's not. It matters they're in there. So, obviously, Sony or Hughes are giving us a nice deal for the televisions. Mm -hmm. Do some like white cell, or else it burns a bit brighter. Oh well, hopefully, I'll sort itself out. I have a candle on in my room, a nice chocolate and orange candle from Avon. Well, that makes me sound gay, doesn't it? I ain't got a guard patrol. I should have a guard patrol ready for this, but I probably won't go through that door. I probably just tried to make it go through the wall. Yes, I did. <laughs> so, so that's that problem solved. How many prisoners have got their tellies now? Fuck you, actually. This guy's jo these guys are jumping for joy, they're getting tellies. <laughs> I'm not doing any other recreation, that's fine. But yeah, they get tellies. Should we put her in the answer? No. Oh, well, people, these have started connecting on as a Polaroid. <laughs> I love the fact you can randomly find Polaroids in your prison. Anyway, so we're doing this. We're going to do the to-do list. That should go in a second, hopefully. There we go. So yeah, 30k 
connect the kitchen swing because we've got one which is not connected. Which is probably me not connecting it, which it is. Okay. Once that connected, we should be all good to go. I don't know where my builders are. Has anyone seen my builders? They should be running over here to install the new pipe work. Come on, where are they? <laughs> I'm not good at this, am I? I'm not good at my job of doing commentary or places here. There. I know people are better at this, but we're doing the missions and it's annoying me that the, these guys are not doing what they should be doing. And that's installing the pipe. It's like three bits of pipe, if that, two bits now. Thank you! There we go. We've had an incident in the shower, so there's a body. Actually, there's two bodies. Luckily for us, we've got cameras in there. When you get a moment, click on the pro order showers and we'll take a look at what happened. You haven't got showers. Firstly, okay, one of the showers. Where the hell? Is there a load of showers in this place? Nope, not them ones. Ah, it was up here. What happened then? Oh, it's one of the Palobidi guys. It's the big, it's the other guy. Nico, isn't it? Yep, yeah, that's, Nico. that's Nico. He's coming in and stabbing him. Ooh, alone. Perfect. God, this music's got really sinister and awkward. You took your time. Cut the bullshit. I never did know what that horror sister of mine saw in you. This here idea of the old man. Is that what you think, you fat fuck? I didn't mean for him to get hurt. I love him like he's my own father. I'm sick of seeing this family brought down by your stupidity. The fire was meant for you. Ooh! Then consider this repaying the favour. Oh, I love CCTV. <laughs> it's like watching EastEnders, this is. Don't come the saint. We both know you, you plan to take me out one day. Who's this? You, Yeah, you always were a smart guy, Nico. Look at why it got you. Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Who's this guy? I told you, watch it back. Have you met Frankie before? He's got a unique talent with a piano wire. Ooh, <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> this is better than EastEnders. Honestly, by the time he's finished, they'll think it was suicide. Why is he still holding the knife? Ooh, that's why. So he's been stabbed and he's dead. Oh, so Frank has been Who's why right, who's You're dead. You're unconscious and you're so these two are dead and he's just unconscious. I'm using this as a description, so he stabbed him, he was trying to kill him, so he stabbed him in the neck after stabbing him and killed them two. Ooh, a... Fantastic, it looks like the Pamelo family is running out of members. Oh god. You can beat the Pamelos while... You can get the Palamonias were selling these and these onto every con here. The guards are telling me they've seen a lot of prisoners showing signs of a draw since the fire. I want you to search every prison at every cell. I bet we find Pamela drugs all over the prison. Let's go. So we've hired more guards. I'm going to hire a load more just so we can get this. I'm going to have at least 50 guards. I've got just so that we can get this nicely done nice and quick. Well, in the middle of Shakedown, there's been a lot of stuff found. We're finding drugs everywhere. Let's go. Are we not moving these bodies? You know, he's got a knife in his throat, he's just dead, and you're not moving him, we're just leaving him there. Okay. On the positive, it's not as bad as it could have been, but there are definite problems with drugs and alcohol dependency. We need to help these men. It's the only way of cubing their activities and dealing with their symptoms. Start a drug treatment program in Fringe. Our doctor and Mr. Chemical Substance that help 
alleviate the cravings and narrow dates. For the alcoholics, there isn't a chemical substance, so I suggest we start a group therapy session. We'll have to build a new common room to run those meetings. To start new programs, go to reports in the bottom right of the screen. If there's any time you're unsure what to do, I do the same sort of stuff. Right, free programs. So we've got all this we can do. Um, I'm going to start that one off. I'm not going to start enough, okay. Um, nope, um, that one. So, optional handle. Duh, duh, duh. So, let's build a foundation. Um, I think we can build a separate little building here. That's about there. Um, putting a jail door on it. There we go. And so, there's another area we could put this. I don't think there is. No, there isn't. Oh, So, let's see, programs. So, we got any of this? We got health, good. So we need to fit this in, so we'll do that. That now might now we start this. There we go. So yeah, we'll do that one as well, just so we get people doing it. And we're building a nice common room for the prisoners here. This will be our common room. Um, the shakedown's still going on though. So we found some stuff, but we'll build a nice common room for them. That will also help with their recognition needs. Um, so yeah, this game I think will be quite fun to do once we get off these little missions. Of six, I think there's five of these, so it's going to be quite a long episode. How long have we gone for already? I'm just going to quickly push this button. Um, so we've already been going for 57 minutes, so this will be quite a long, nice episode to get back in the mix of things. So I might break this down actually and do two. So once I get this mission over with, I'm going to stop recording. And then we'll do this in two parts, and we'll do the others as well. So it just doesn't get too long-winded, so we'll get this one done. And then I, I will release them on the same day, don't worry about that. Oops, that's a library. We don't need a library. All the lights are turned off, are they installing the lights in? There's no power going to this room, which is going to be a problem, so we're going to put some power cables up. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop after this. Um, Put some pool tables in, that'd be nice. Nice little circle of chairs. Um, you can also put in... I like to put TVs in the common room. Put them along the back wall. So yeah, after this, after this part, once we've completed this, we'll... And each TV gets its own unique sofa. Um, I also put some phones in here. And along this wall. There we go. Right, let's. Have we got it? No, not how far it's good. Can't do it just yet because we've got a way for it to be installed. Um, so let's just fast forward time. Get everything nicely installed in here so this is no longer flashing. Um, we're going to deploy a guard in here. Just because we need one in here. Everyone's going to try to get in and out, in and out, check it all about, do the hooky down around. Is it now going to let us start? Where is it? There we go. So we're now, we've now done those missions. So the, the person's going to call us up. Very good. We made a real difference here, and I don't, and I think the prison is back under control. You can stay and improve the prison further, or we can move on to the next visitor. When you're ready to move on, click on the Polaroid in the infirmary. So I'm going to click on the Polaroid for the infirmary, and then I'm going to cut the video off for the day. 
So yeah, and then we'll see you tomorrow for the continue of the prologue. It'll probably call come out in one big thing. Ooh, ooh, hello. She looks prettier than she did in the previous video, I have to say. <laughs> she doesn't look very good as a three, you know, a two D mo three D slash two D model, but I quite like a cartoon picture. Who's she coming to see? Mm. Well, she's coming to the infirmary. V Vitalalia! Ooh. Ooh, she's going over there. Oh no, she's ignoring him. She's going to her dad. Vitalalia? Please tell me she shoots him. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> I can't speak. I can't say. I can't do anything other than question mark. I've enjoyed doing this, so yeah, this is all going to be done, but I'm going to cut it down because I didn't realise it's going to take this long to do two parts. Sweet cheeks? <laughs> I'm sorry, I fucked up. Hush now. They said pops won't last the week. I know, I came to say goodbye. You know, we could walk away right away now, you and me. It's fucking life, it's taking everything. I like that. Does she kill him? <laughs> but I can't. I am Paolomeo Ni. Paolomeo Nico. And with Papa gone, and you on the ins out, and you on an outsider in this place, our enemies would walk right over this family. I can't have that. I have to show them that Epamelonia still sits on the throne. Oh, what's in her bag? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, she's going in the bag. What? So you're here to fucking rack me? After all we've been through? Nico, Nico, Nico. It's so old school. No, sweetheart, I'm divorcing you. Oh. <laughs> the fuck? You're kidding me. I'm a dead man in here without the family behind me. I know, sweetheart, but that's not my concern anymore. Well, at least she's single. <laughs> Who wants to marry into the Italian mob family? I wish you'd be... I wish you to a better place, Papa. Goodbye, Nico. I could have done the squeaky voice for her, but you know, I'm giving up on the voices unless I keep pulling. Okay. So, my friends, I'm going to wait for the next one to open up. Now I'm going to push escape before anything kicks off. Chapter 3 G A B O S. And my friends, you're going to find out what's going on in the next part of Prison Architect, the pre-log class negotiator. My friends, I want to thank you all for joining me on this brand new adventure. I hope that you've been enjoying it as much as I have. Thank you for watching.